This guy just likes throwing girls. It's only been girls. What is wrong with this dude? We do a lot of robotic surgeries in the hospital. I'm not a surgeon, but they don't look like this. They're typically like one arm doing the work. This is just brutal, bad torture. Do you get people hit by trains and stuff? Not on purpose. A lot of times when somebody wants to try to commit suicide. I gotta be careful when I ask this guy. I'm gonna get some crazy <laughs> true, question right. answers. What's up guys, my name is Noah Flater. I'm an actor and martial artist. And I'm Dr. Jordan Wagner, board certified emergency medicine physician. We're gonna check out some gameplay and see how it relates to what I do on an everyday level. But what are we gonna check out? We're gonna watch Hitman. So let's watch some guys die. Punch to, oh Jesus Christ. Have you ever had to deal with anybody getting bit by any animal and have to come in the <laughs> Actually, yard? a lot of times you'll actually get um, dog bites. Yeah, Most yeah, of the time yeah. it's dog bites. Very rarely is it any no other cats. No hippos. <laughs> and I'll tell you, cats are the worst. Really? Because they puncture deep and the bacteria in their mouth is what gets your wound all infected a couple days later. Damn. All right. I don't, I'm not going to mess with any cats. Yeah, don't mess with cats. Yeah. They're sons of, you know what. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think she's coming in. He pressed the button, that was it, yeah. done. No, a body does never disappears. It's not just a bloody mess, right? It's, you still have bones, you have tissue, it's just, it's squished. You'll have brain matter in different areas, you'll see blood everywhere, but no, you're still gonna have a human that's just laying there. Okay, he's at the laptop. The general is pressing some buttons. Jesus, is that tank thing firing? I don't even know. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, and we're going to drown it. And we're gonna drown somebody. From a martial arts perspective, you would not be able to hold two people underwater like that. That would be really difficult. You would need to be super strong just to do that. And it doesn't happen that fast. We can go eight minutes. Eight minutes. Without breathing. Right. And our oxygen would go from 100 to 90 and we'll still be okay. I'm sure my ex-girlfriends have thought of that to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Now, they're not gonna die right away either. Unless you rupture oh, the aorta. That's a terrible way to die then. If it didn't go through the spinal cord, you didn't sever that, again, you could still live, right? You're just paralyzed from that spot down. I love medical professionals. They say the craziest <laughs> shit so like casually. We're Christ. very focused. <laughs> We're very focused of the problem at hand. Versus you'd be alive, you'd just be paralyzed. Yep. All right, this guy's benching. Oh! That's like every like lifter's worst nightmare. Oh, he's actually pushing he's down. He's crushing down. Yeah. So if I'm fighting, like for real, that is definitely one of the targets I'd go for right, right. away. It'd be super easy. Right. But it's not instant death though. No, it's not. Because uh, you get paralyzation of your vocal cords typically. Right. And then you can get some swelling. But it stuns you and it hurts. That guy ain't getting up any time Yeah, that guy, <laughs> that guy should have having trouble. Oh, ninja right. mode. Love it. I mean, that's a lot of grip strength right there. Yeah. What kind of fighting skills should an assassin use? Well, number one, they should be very good at weapons, 100%. You could practice a lot of like the old Japanese style techniques of like what the shinobis would practice, the ninja arts, which is a lot of poison, a lot of like rock climbing. So you have that like grip strength that you right. kind of have. The jujitsu type of perspective where you can submit the person and go down as fast as possible, that's not a bad option too. I wouldn't know. Every time I walk somewhere, everybody knows I'm there. That's right. <laughs> I'm assuming that would be a really good skill to have, to be quiet, per se. I would be the worst ninja <laughs> possible. <laughs> so there's not that many gases out there. A lot, another one that they would use is actually get rid of oxygen, so they'd pump like nitrogen into the room. So it's actually the nicer way to go because you become altered and then you just... Like you get high? Right, so okay. carbon monoxide they'd put in there too. They could put... That's how a lot of people used to die. Right. right? In their cars. Cars and yeah. stuff. Carbon dioxide, monoxide, all that stuff. Right, right. Guy comes in, two guys. Oh, okay, they just user or a, passed uh, out from the gas right there. Yeah. Would it happen that quick? No way. No. Yeah, it's not gonna yeah, happen yeah. that quick. Basically, your lungs fill with fluid or your diaphragm gets paralyzed where you can't breathe. Right. It's different mechanisms. It happens fast. And Same with the choke there. It's not gonna happen that quick. Understand the gameplay, right? It's just gotta keep moving. Yeah, yeah. Fast. Oh. That's that just like, happen. you're done. That would happen that fast. Yeah. <laughs> get some blood, knock somebody out. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's not discreet. Yeah, we are not in ninja mode anymore. Oh, um, oh boy. I don't okay, know. If, I don't know about that. You're I don't have, know about that. Yeah, yeah, you're just gonna get concussed and then go in the water, and the water will probably eventually wake you up. Well, if the piranhas get you, then you're screwed. Yep. We're in the psychic room. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh. 
Did he take his glasses? Oh, his instrument. It was like uh, the bottom of the glass ball, yeah. I was about to say, like, traumatic brain injury, fine, but he was impaled in the face. Yeah. Could go through the skull if it's hard enough and sharp enough. Oh! That's instant death. Uh, yeah, it's totally instant death. <laughs> and uh, actually, in real life, we have meat crushers at factories like that. People lose limbs all the time. All the time? All What's the time. going on with these people? That's What's why we have happening? OSHA and these safety measures, but I've had people at like chicken factories where they're cutting the bones and their skill saws and they just slice off their thumb or finger. This is like a common thing that's this happening? Is a common thing. What is going on? Let's not do this, people. <laughs> Holy crap. Wear your helmet, know your safety protocols. Like, Jesus. This is just brutal, bad torture. I love the camera movement, the slow right. push in. Yep, got the light reflecting That was the pretty light. good, slow yeah. death, you yeah. know, blood bleeding out a little bit. I mean, a little bit more accurate. On an off topic, like tangent, because it's raining outside in LA right now, there are a lot of fires because of the homeless. Uh, interesting. Yeah. The only time everything with homeless is I see people who try to hurt homeless by throwing fire on them. What? Yep. It's a are you it's a kidding world. me? Oh yeah. Most of the time, thank goodness, it's first, second degree burn. Anything dealing with the airway though, you have to be really careful looking for soot in the nose or the air problems. Yeah, oh yeah. Bro, this place is fucked up. I don't even know what we're watching yeah, anymore. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Just threw me a curveball, Jesus. That's insane, dude. Insane. Well, we're lighting some crazy we're shit We're lighting something fire. up. I hear somebody screaming in there. to death. Yeah. Before you burn, you're actually gonna pass out because you can't breathe. Right. Again, you're taking away oxygen because that's what's going to the fire and then you have leftover. So hopefully you actually, in that situation, you wanna die faster because you don't wanna feel the pain of the burn. I feel like that's a lot of situations here. Yeah. <laughs> Not too much death from fire, thank goodness. It happens though in house fires. Whoever came up with these deaths, man. Don't get ideas from games. Who are you? That's not the right question. Is it gonna be like James uh -oh. Bond shoot him in the chair? The silencer gun. I oh. called it James nice. Bond moment. There we go, the silencer. I would use that every time. Silencers are actually not that quiet in real yeah, life. Right. Yep, but I love it. Video games and movies. Oh, nice. Damn, do you get people hit by trains and stuff? Not on purpose. A lot of times if somebody wants to try to commit suicide. Typically if somebody's hit by a train, they're not coming to the hospital. Oh, Jesus so, There are Christ. suicide hotlines yeah. out there for people if you're yeah. feeling that way. But, Please yeah. call. I gotta be careful when I ask this guy. I'm gonna get some crazy <laughs> true, question right. answers. This guy just likes throwing girls. It's only been girls. What is wrong with this dude? What? It's so messed up. I think you would survive a fall that high. You could, unless it hits your head. Could. Yeah, so typically right. we always get worried if it's fall three times your height is considered a, a trauma. And then you just have to depend on your injury. So if it's three stories, four stories, say if you fall on your butt or your legs. Yeah. The highest I've done is like maybe two stories, yeah. one story. Anything yeah. past that's crazy. Even if you land on your feet, you can snap your ankles and you can cause actually like vertebral fractures into your back. Just don't do it, guys. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, no. Taking a picture. Got some mats. Reminds me of like iRobot. Oh God, jeez. So that would be instant death depending on where you hit, right? Yeah, so yeah. it's very interesting. I've had people get shot 10 times and survive and I've had people get shot once and die. And die. So it just all depends really... where it gets hit, caliber, but a bullet, that sort of thing. 10 times and he survived? 10 times, you know, you get a lot in arms, legs, a couple belly, as long as you're missing vital organs. Yeah. That guy's got a crazy story, holy sh It's like your stealth skill, or not. <laughs> <laughs> what? But, this is still the same game? I don't even know what world we're in. That's right. I've never played Hitman. I've only watched the, watched the movies. But I don't know what this character is. Yeah, this guy's is. cool. Yeah. <gasps> this is a little different. This is gonna be impaled. Nice. You could survive that too, yeah, right? You're you just gonna could bleed if out. it doesn't go deep enough. Right. And it depends on your bleeding. But now how do you get out of there and... You're just gonna bleed out. Bleed out and if you don't bleed out, you know, stay where you are in the sense of the objects are tamponading. Infection is the other thing that would potentially set in. That's gonna take a while. Take a while. Yeah. That's like if you don't make it to the hospital. Right. Damn, this machine again. There's this machine. We do a lot of robotic surgeries in the hospital. I'm not a surgeon, but they don't look like this. They're typically like one arm doing the work. But this is just impaling right into the chest, causing like a pneumothorax, hemothorax, that sort of thing. It's just torture. That's just messed up. Yeah. I like pit crew, pit stop. Right. I mean, I, all I see is this wrench. You do a lot of damage with a wrench. And this happens a lot. A lot of guys survive that. And cars are made to take the energy and made to And it didn't blow up either. Yeah, yep. a lot of the times it's just in fire. Right. 
Oh, nice. Jeez. That's like, not yeah. instant death either, right? You no, know, it's like it could Bleeding be a couple, it could be a minute or two. Right, or right. Like maybe 30 seconds, depends if you had the carotid artery versus the jugular vein. Question, this is my messed up side of my brain. Could they still be yelling or trying to like call out to somebody? hundred percent. Right. So you got the tubes on both sides plus the trachea. So unless you're lacerate the trachea right. and you're hitting the vocal cords, yeah, they could be screaming. If it's just a slice, you can hold pressure to that area. Got you. Just yep. straight direct pressure right. to hold it. Yeah. Just in case. There's a lot, a lot of teaching trouble. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this game has a lot of different looks. It is all over the place. Oh, oh, we just talked about the firebird. Alive, alive. Still oh, alive? Yeah. No. Dead. Yep. Oh, Jeez. that's a far shot. That's a far shot. Yeah, that's a hard hit. I wish they would show like head exploding or, or bone coming off the back of the skull. Like make it a little bit more real. You want more violence, guys. I just want a little <laughs> bit more re reality. I know it's a video game. <laughs> like even that, that explosive injury. Yeah. Potentially pieces. What is that? It's is a that heart? A heart? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a heart. Oh, <laughs> that's messed up. You don't keep hearts in a little container like that, no, right? No, so only time like transplants, they'll be in like a cooler right. on ice, that sort of thing, and then... How long can the heart be in ice for till? Uh, a couple hours. So yeah. you have a few hours to get that heart yeah, into yeah, the yeah. body. It's not just like sitting in a fridge. Right, you don't have it in a week. No, you know, hopefully one day we can have this cool mechanism because it, it was in a container that was probably feeding it blood. The concept of that would be awesome. That would be awesome if we can get technology and Hitman to be a reality. Just in that part. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's right. They do a lot of explosions. I'm assuming like the, the skill of ninja, they mm. used art of deception, right, and hiding. For and sure. And explosions or... You're right on point with that. The bell fell on him, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> My particular forte would be more hand-to-hand -hand combat. So anytime that there are layers in combat, uh -huh. then we have weapons and all that kind of stuff. A bell fell on him, there's no combat really right, in right. that. He's cheating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this robotic surgery place, this is... Keep coming back to this. Yes. Where's the surgeon? It looks like a video game on the right. But at least, at least on the left, you have the appropriate x-ray, which is the heart and the lungs. Mm -hmm. This is a creepy clown music. Oh, Jesus. Destroyed the whole game, but the body is still there. I would have liked to see a little bit more. Like, I understand it's a Hitman game. I would have liked to see more gadgets involved, like more of a James Bond kind of approach to yeah, things. Yeah, totally. I would have liked to see that here, but what did you think? I thought it was good. Again, it's yeah. gore. It's just yeah. killing. We're seeing every gameplay of like, just murder, murder, murder. <laughs> you know, I see a lot of basically Hitman is just sneaking up, throwing somebody off a balcony or shooting somebody. But <laughs> a lot of balcony. Kills. I nerded out on the heart. Like, okay, if we can get that one day, it just would be so cool for the healthcare field. Mm -hmm. So that they're trying to do it in a video game was pretty cool. All right, that was awesome. Check me out, Dr. Jordan Wagner, on my YouTube channel at Dr. ER. Where can they check you out, Noah? You guys can go on Instagram at Noah underscore Flater. So make sure you guys follow Gameology on Facebook and YouTube and keep going, guys. Take care. We're gonna check out some interesting gameplay here. We'll see if it correlates to reality that I get to see every day, but Noah's gonna. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do it. That again. was good, dude. Yeah, was I like that. Yeah. I like that. All right. Over time. Take two.